few weeks ago, Adcock Ingram OTC launched Sponsors of Brave, a campaign in celebrating and sharing the stories of pharmacists and healthcare professionals who've gone above and beyond the day-to-day -day call of duty. Never before has praising these incredible healthcare professionals been more important. Today, we meet 72-year-old Mshanga-based pharmacist, Alwyn Emmerman, who has served his community for over 50 years. Together with his four-legged furry assistant, Humphrey, they are giving back in more ways than one. Welcome to The Loft, Alwyn. Hello, hi. Hi. Now, you've been nominated for your great work in the healthcare profession as one of the sponsors of Brave. How does it feel? Well, I'm very humbled that people put my name forward and very excited because I'll have a platform to get some exposure for, for subjects that are very dear to my heart and uh, hopefully we can help the local SPCA charity that I've focused on with my dog Humphrey. Yeah. You are doing incredible work, so much so that we have this amazing video from Sponsors of Brave. Let's take a look. I went to the SPCA and there was this very forlorn dog lying at the back of the cage and somehow we connected. He has brought out the very best in a dog that was so frightened when he first got him. It's, it's this love affair. We see Alwyn every morning walking him on the promenade. He's just so well known, Humphrey and Alwyn. It was Mandela Day and I thought Humphrey could come and collect a few rand from the customers because they'd met him on the Amschlonga promenade and there's just been such wonderful response from the public. There are people who will specifically come to the pharmacy on a Thursday or a Sunday when Humphrey comes to work and put money into the collection box. This is Zoe. Unfortunately, the only medicine that's available for stomach aches tastes too, too terrible. And eventually, Mommy came up with a brainwave. What did she tell you, Zoe? That it was made by Humphrey's dad. Yeah, so the medicine came from Humphrey's dad. And with that, Zoe went and swallowed the medicine and got better very quickly. We've had community walks. We've been recently selling masks branded with Humphrey on. And the response that we get from the community is amazing. To date, we've collected about 630,000 Rand. And my goal is to get to a million Rand so Humphrey can become a dog in a million. Owen is a generous, kind person. Lots of empathy as a pharmacist. He's always will hear your story. He's got time for everyone. Pharmacy is a very noble profession. You're right at the cutting edge when people need you. And as far as me working at 72, I've been blessed with very good health and I really enjoy my work. Owen and Humphrey are such inspirations to the community. They really are. I don't know how we would carry on without them. He's like one of my best friends, but I've got So many people start an initiative and they don't follow through. Arwen is extremely committed. The brave person doesn't give up, and Arwen doesn't give up at all. The reason why I'm so passionate is I always get much more satisfaction out of being able to give back to society than take. Wow, that was so amazing. Oh, Mr. Emmerman, you must just be so touched. So you have been in this industry now for over 50 years. Tell us about your passion for the work that you do and what it means to your community. Really, I've been in this retail pharmacy game for over, well, not quite 50 years. I think next year will be 50 years. It's been an amazing journey for me. I've got so close to so many thousands of people that I've met along the way and were able to treat them. In fact, there was many a situation where um, I would treat the baby with nappy rash and it seems like a couple of years later, I'm treating that baby's baby with <laughs> the, same, the same complaints. 
So that's why I'm so passionate about the, the business and we get a lot of positive feedback from the people yeah. that they're very happy with the service that we offer at Amshanga Medisport and we're able to solve their medical problems very often without incurring very, very expensive calls. Mm. Now, you know, uh, Mr. Emmerman, Humphrey seems like my type of dog. He's absolutely adorable. Tell us about your relationship and why you think the community has fallen in love with him. Humphrey and, Humphrey and my journey started in 2011. It was six, off, six months after my previous dog had passed away and I knew I needed a new friend in my life. I found him at the SPCA. He'd been lying there for nearly seven weeks oh. and apparently they only keep them for a very limited time before they have to put them down if no one claims them. So I got there just in time and there was this very sad looking brown dog lying in the back of the cage. Anyway, um, after he'd been neutered, which the SPCA do. Humphrey had settled down into the home now and he was doing great and I was driving to work one day and the story came on the radio, it was Mandela Day and they were asking people to donate 67 minutes of their time in honour of our great president uh, and to do it for a charity that was near to their heart. So I thought, let me, let me bring Humphrey to work. I cleared it with Mr. Fraser, the owner of Antlonga Medisport Pharmacy. And uh, at best, I was hoping to get about 10 tins of dog food from donations from the, the customers. Anyway, we ended up with a very healthy collection that day. And everybody started coming in. Where's the dog? My friend told me the dog was here yesterday. I want to meet him. So we ended up making it every Thursday. On Friday, when we did the shoot with Adcock, the lady from the SPCA said that they just had a few more days of food left in their store and they'd been so badly affected by the lockdown. And uh, we were happy to send, you'll see in the clip that we did, we sent 5,000 rands food. So that's taken a bit of pressure off them. So that's where we are as we talk now. And finally, how can people get involved to help out? The local people in KwaZulu Natal or Mshlanga or Durban that would like to meet Humphrey and get involved, he's normally at the pharmacy on Thursdays and Sundays, Thursday afternoon. But the rest of the people are urged very strongly to donate to Humphrey. And I would like sincerely if they could put. Uh, a note on it uh, or SMS my phone number with a donation so I can put it to Humphrey's grand total. Uh, so we're working towards that million rand. And then after that, my ultimate goal in Amshlanga here, which is a beautiful little village just outside Durban, I would like to build a, a statue in memory of Humphrey when, when we've got that million rand. Thank you so much, Mr. Immerman. Uh, I would like to thank you for giving me this platform uh, for this charity that's so dear to my heart. Thank you so much to you and the team. I really appreciate the, the platform and I hope we're going to get a, a very good response from your listeners. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. That is now all 12 of the nominees for the sponsors of Brave Campaign. Which two healthcare winners will be selected from your nominations? One chosen by a judging panel and the other one through your votes. The two healthcare professionals that are selected will win a trip to an overseas medical conference of their choice and be given the opportunity to pay it forward by donating 25,000 Rand to their favourite charity. Visit afternoonexpress.co.za for info on how you can nominate a winner from all 12 nominees. The curve we don't want to flatten is the heartbeat of our beloved South Africa. Be brave. Unprecedented challenges call for incredible bravery. Countless doctors, nurses and pharmacists are working around the clock to keep us safe. They go beyond the call of duty and selflessly put the needs of our communities first. 
nominate the brave healthcare professionals on the front line and give them the recognition they deserve. Because the only curve we don't want to flatten is the heartbeat of our beloved South Africa.